Hey, this is Jonathan Butler on On Time TV. Turn it up. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the experience with Jonathan Butler. This event is brought to you by WIA Distribution and the Music Experience. Uh, the staff of the Experience event has worked diligently to ensure successful events for the last five years. Special thanks to the producer of this event, Joy Mitchell, the director of this event, Janelle Taylor, and Marcus Raglan of C1 Promotion and Marketing. Special thanks to We Are Distribution, our friends. Hello, this is Dedry Jones from the Music Experience, and we're here at the DuSabo Museum for the Experience with Grammy nominee Jonathan Butler. You're watching On Time TV. Come and let us sing. Come and let us sing. Come and let us sing to the King of Kings. Come on, come and let us sing. Come and let us sing. Come on, come and let us sing to the King of Kings. Come back. Come and let us sing. A little while. Come and Start from the beginning and, and tell some people some stuff about you. Okay. So, <laughs> it's a hot seat over here. Back in the day. Back in the day, you were uh, you were born in, and I don't want to say the name wrong. Athlone? It's called Athlone. 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 Athlone was the, uh, the suburb, as you can call it, yeah. Now, one thing, there's a couple of different questions I have throughout the course of this, where when I was doing some research on you, yeah. I mean, I would read one thing one place, I'd read another thing another place, and right, so I got right. a little confused. So just tell us a little bit about growing up in Athlone. That was, was that, that was a shanty town? Cape Town is, is, uh, is kind of spread out. But uh, Athlone was more, more or less, um, I lived in an area called Belgravia, you know, and Belgravia had, had all these, uh, most of the shacks that I've seen in my life growing up was in Athlone. And, um, you know, it's amazing. People had horses, but they had shacks. And I think the horses slept much better than we did, you know. <laughs> uh, but it was everywhere, everywhere, every house, in my, all my father's friends, you know, the house, there was an outhouse at every corner. People had no, you know, running taps outside. So uh, we'd sort of buy water, carry it home, bath in it, cook with it, clean the toilets. That was our chores, you know. And, um, but I was, when I was a kid growing up, I was pretty much like any, any other kid, you know. I mean, there are ghettos all over the world. So I was singing in nightclubs that I was not allowed to be in at the age of eight. It was illegal for blacks to be in these nightclubs in these white areas. So they would sneak me in after 10 to do my part of the cabaret, and then they would sneak me back out the back of the, of the club. And um, so it was like that kind of life, that lifestyle and life that really took hold of me. A lot of us didn't go through the same things that you went through. I yeah. mean, you know, reading it is kind of like, they gotta be kidding, that okay. didn't really happen. Because you were, from what I understand, you were like the first black kid on television in South mm -hmm. Africa, mm -hmm. and the yeah. first the first black person to win a Sari Award, Award, which is like a Grammy Award. Call it a Sari Award, if yeah. you want to. <laughs> and then you were, I'm trying to remember the other one, you were... The first black to be on the radio. Uh, right, on the radio, yeah. right. Yeah. Those three things. So, you know, because when I read that, I was like... What? Well, it's difficult. I mean, you know, you, you've, you've seen guys and, and young women, and, you know, who come from the streets and they make it big and it, it, that whole dynamic is hard for any young black kid and a child and a girl to go through. So here I was, I was, you know, 12, 13 and I, I, I just, they put out the single and every radio station in the country was playing this. And I was, you know, probably cleaning out the outhouse. And there, you know, I, I'm the, the number one kid on the radio, the first black kid to be on the white radio stations. Um, and at the time, I mean, apartheid, the oppression was so intense. 
it was so intense that if a black man walked out the street at three in the afternoon, the sirens would go off and they would stop to see if, he's, if he has ID. And so it was such a, diff a crazy time, you know. And then to get the Grammy uh, in South Africa, the equivalent of a Grammy, you know, I'm sitting in the audience like you, I have to walk down and receive my award. And the lady that presents the award, she, uh, she was Miss Universe at the time. Her husband, her ex-husband, is the guy that owns the Atlantis in Bahamas and Sun City. And uh, she came to give me the award and give, gave me a kiss. Well, the house was, was a white house. It was full of, you know, I was just sitting there. There may be a few black groups, you know, that was traditional. And uh, the TV blacked out. That was a moment. That was a moment. I mean, she was cute and all that. You know. <laughs> But she was at least 5'10", you know, and I'm 12, I mean, <laughs> I would have needed a ladder just to go and kiss her, you know, so, so they, they, and the next morning in the newspaper, you, there was no picture of me, there was just, you know, Cape Town kid, you know, wins, first black kid to win a award. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna ask you a few questions, like seven questions real fast. Right. It's called, it's a, it's a thing that we do called You Can Quote Me, where I ask a question and I leave, you know, the last word is blank and you got to answer it real fast. If I weren't a musician, I'd be a... Preacher. My favorite movie is... Uh, I, uh, 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 Gladiator. I like that. That's good. Gladiator. Yeah. My favorite male singer of all time is... It, this is alive or dead, it doesn't matter. Stevie. Okay. My favorite CD or album of all time is? Joe Paz in Hamburg. Okay. That, he's a guitar player, Chad. Yeah. And, and actually, I thought you were going to pick something like a Joe Paz and Sarah Vaughan album. Or something. Oh, you, As soon as you said that, that's the yeah, first thing I thought. My favorite about. guitar player. Um, I'd love to do a duet with? CeCe. Okay. Oh, this is a good one for you. My favorite meal is? I'm stale. <laughs> and the most important question, my favorite interviewer is? You. <laughs> Works for me. Works for me. How about this? We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, right now. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, right now. We lift our hands and bow our knees and worship at your throne. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, right now. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, right now. We need you, Lord. We need you right now. We lift our hands and bow knees and worship at your throne. We need you, we need you, we need you, Lord, right now. So I want to say, I need you, I need you right now. Oh, I lift my hands and bow my knees and worship at your throne. I need you, I need you, I need you. I need, 
Like a flower needs the rain, I need you. Here I am to say that you're my God. You all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Psalms is like. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross. I knew, never know, I never know how much it costs to see my sin upon the cross. So here I am to worship. Say it with me. Here I am to say that you're my God. You all together love me. You all together worthy. All together one. Full to me. You know, I, I like to, I like to, I like to tell people now that I, I'm, I'm going around and experiencing what it's like to, to be in the presence of the body of Christ. I know there's a lot of, you know, stereotypical and doctrines and religious thinkers and traditional thinkers that always say, well, this guy can't really be, you know, doing this. You know, he can't be singing gospel and, and then tomorrow night he's going to be playing in a club somewhere or, he's, you know. But um, I always tell people, you got to be you and you have to do you. And if you turn away, you know, man looketh on the outside always. Always man looks onto the outside. When, and the Bible says, know no man after the flesh, but by his spirit. We were first created, spiritually created. Then God put a body in us, you know, with a mind. But he has given us, his very essence is him in us. Want to see God? Watch a man's gift. You see God, so I think it's 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 so overwhelm, overwhelmingly wonderful for me to be here with you guys because I want you to know this is not a phase of my life. This is not a, a moment in my life where I got fed up with the world and I you know let me try something new. I I I I worship. That's what I do. I love to worship, and I love to do this all the time. I like to my mornings, my hours, my my seconds. Is God, and so you know, a good thought is what is worship. Maybe you guys can sing along with me. But like I said, just be you, because there was a prophet, Jeremiah, who was sent out of the church, not into the church. God wants to take so many of you tonight out there. He wants to use you out there. There are so many sheep. God told me one day, He said, "Tell the world I have other sheep." You know, there are other sheep out there that needs to come in. And when Christ comes back, he wants, he wants to see that, that we've done all we could to bring men and women into the kingdom of God. So, do you all the time and ask God to give you that sense of direction and guidance to talk to people about him. Because be not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. <laughs> 
So this is, this is for my brother Kirk Whalen because God really used him mightily to allow me to even do the song on his record. So Falling in love with Jesus Falling in love with Jesus Falling in love with Jesus was the best thing I've ever done Falling in love with Jesus Falling in love with Jesus Falling in love with Jesus Was the best thing that I Ever done in his arms I feel protected in his arms never disconnected in his arms I feel protected there's no place I'd rather 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 be Falling in love with you, my Savior. Falling in love with the bread of life. Falling in love with you was the last thing that I ever done. There's no place that I'd rather, rather be Oh, there's no place that I'd rather be There's no place that I'd rather, 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 rather be Can give God some praise, amen. Are you ready for a brand new day? You sure you're ready for a brand new day? Well, I'm gonna play you, um, we're gonna play some tracks from a brand new day. You know, I, I wish I had a band because I love when there's a band around, we just can tear the song apart. And, uh, but in two weeks, brand new day is, is gonna be awesome. Uh, it's been a great experience for me to make this record and thanking God for the opportunity to make another gospel record. Can, can you guys get up? We'll just give you a chance. Yeah, just stretch your legs a little bit. Come on. Can I get some more track? Come on. Come on.
the God that keeps on giving, the God that keeps revealing, His promise is true. 